Hi guys, welcome back to Style With Substance and welcome to Zara Haul Week. So as promised in yesterday's short video, I am going to be hauling loads of items throughout the course of this week and showing you what I picked up from Zara. So this is an online shopping order, so hopefully everything that I've linked is still available and you will be able to pick up via the links in the description box below. Um, as I mentioned on my Snapchat and Instagram stories, and if you don't follow me on there, description box, because that's where I post all my updates, I will be basically doing one big haul and splitting it into three videos, because I picked up quite a lot of stuff and cramming it all into one video was just a little bit long for you guys to sit there and watch. So if you like the sound of that and you want to see what I got for today's video, do keep watching. And also if you want to see what I picked up from this entire order, then make sure you come back tomorrow and the day after and the day after. Right, so let's get into so it. The order came in <coughs> these two huge boxes here. And I'm just going to start at random basically. So I'm going to kick off with this box, I think. Okay, so as you know, um, box comes like this and it opens up like so to reveal all the items in here. So let's just plow through and see what we've got. So as you guys know, autumn is coming and that means warm, cozy jackets. And this coat in particular has made an appearance in Zara for the past couple of years, I'm pretty sure I've seen it anyway, um, since I've been like a dedicated Zara shopper. And what I like about it is that it's casual, um, but at the same time, it's quite warm, quite edgy as well. So definitely a good weekend coat for those days uh, or nights out where you're going out, you kind of have a really nice outfit on and you don't want to ruin it by putting on a really big boring coat that will, will keep you warm, but that just totally takes away any style that you've put into your outfit. So I picked up this huge, black biker jacket but what makes it a slightly less biker is the faux fur collar and the faux fur detail on the sleeves so it just kind of gives it more of a cozy winter friendly or also winter friendly feel. I will try it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like but basically it's silver detail, unzips down the middle and it's also got a little buckle at the bottom here you can untie I would definitely wear this untied because I think it's just a bit formal and then it's all furry and soft and fluffy on the inside this always 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 comes back in Zara you guys will definitely have seen this around if you sort of follow bloggers or or just people who shop a lot <laughs> um so I got this in the smallest size so it's in extra small and it was 89.99 pounds so convert for dollars or other currencies if you will. But I will have linked this in the description box below for those of you that want to go and check it out. Items like this do often end up in the sale, so if you don't wanna get it straight away, then by all means do wait. But if you cannot, cannot do without this coat and it always goes really quickly when it comes in, I would definitely say it's worth purchasing it straight away. With Zara, some of their coats, once they um, go out of stock, they don't do them again. Not this one, because I've seen this quite a few times, but just bear that in mind. Unintentionally, the first few items are all black, not planned. This next item is another jacket, but it's very, very office friendly. So it's this cardigan style jacket. Doesn't have um, a closure or like a zip or buttons or anything, but I quite like that, the relaxed style of that. It's a short jacket and it features these lovely bell sleeves. I picked this up in a size... There is no tag on this. How odd. Oh, there is, sorry. <laughs> I picked this up in a size small and it was 29 99 but just really smart, would go really well with a pair of black or gray or, or even blue, dark blue cigarette pants for the office. Maybe like a nice shirt on the inside or like a casual t-shirt. Yeah, I like wearing things like this with v-neck necklines in terms of the item that I'm wearing on the inside. So this is something that is very me and would very much get the wear in my wardrobe. The next item is something that you could wear with that jacket if you were doing the all black look and it is re this really really simple three quarter length jersey top basically. There's nothing special about it but it does have some really cute pink detail on the inside but no one could really see that. This is in a size small and it was 7 dollars but it's just 
one of those office basics for putting inside jackets like that one or under like really big coats that you can just tuck into a pair of trousers or a really nice skirt so another basic basically <laughs> basic 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 the next item is a pair of shoes and they are dupes so they are dupes for the Gucci shoes that I've seen loads of on the blogosphere um, and blogosphere as well and are they patent okay I didn't realize they look like this so they're basically black patent with these faux pearls and they've got these little tassels at the front but they are from the Trafalut collection I got them in a size 6 which is my size and they were £25.99 but these are really really cute and if you want shoes that mimic the sort of designer look of the Gucci ones without breaking the bank here's how you do it. Right so we're going to get into a few items from the next bag as well. The bulk of the order is in this box so I'm only going to take out a few oh there's some good stuff in here <laughs> so the next item is an accessory and it comes in this dust bag just because of how nice it is I think this also has a very designer feel to it and you know what it reminds me of well let me show it to you first look at that how gorgeous is that bag let me take this um take this uh what you call it this strap off she looks like this it reminds me of the diorama bag so in terms of compartments it's got this front one i think this is the front of the bag i'm just going to assume so which has a little slot there maybe you can put like cards and stuff in it and then it's got another one there, which has currently got like loads of paper in it. Then you kind of, you can clip that over there like that, just to give it a nice bit of detail. And then it opens up at the back as well. So at the back, there's like a, um, there's a button there, which opens up to reveal another compartment and comes with a strap as well. But to, for me, a bag like this, I wouldn't wear it with a strap. And then it opens up in the middle, I think, with this gold thingy here. I think this is an opening. I could be very wrong here. Oh, no, I am not. Oh, this is so, how decadent is this? <laughs> okay, yeah, so then it opens up in the middle as well. Although this doesn't open very well, so that's not really that practical. But I would assume that if you have a bag like this, you're not carrying it like for like major practicality. I think you would probably squeeze most of your stuff into the first two compartments and maybe put like a purse or some money or whatever in that middle one. But yeah, it's just a really cute like bag. You can kind of hold it like in the crook of your arm or just down by your side. But I like it. I like short strap bags, very much a fave of mine. So this was 49.99 pounds. And then the final item that I'm gonna give you in today's haul is, boom this bad boy so it's this really cute cotton print skirt if there's a name for it I'm just gonna put it there with these really cute blue tassels at the bottom now this this my friends is versatile depending on how you rock it so if you are an office worker then if you put this with some tights some really cute stiletto heels or stiletto heeled boots I have some black leather ones that I might rock this with to show you and then tuck like a, a white shirt into it you can get away with it or if you tuck like, that black three quarter length um, top that I showed you, you could very much rock this and get away with it. However, if you were going to a festival, you could also rock this with like a black tank top or something like that. And maybe yeah, something else tassily. I don't know. I don't really go to... <laughs> can you tell I don't go to festivals? It's got a zip at the back so you can get into it nice and easy. And the tassels are just this gorgeous um, blue colour. I don't see this blue colour a lot actually. Obviously, I'll try this on and have linked it down below for you guys if you want to pick it up. But this is very, very, very game changing right here. So that's everything for today's haul. Subscribe and click the bell so you are notified whenever I post a new video, which will be pretty much every day this week. If you want to see what else I picked up, because I'm basically going to continue on filming after this, then do come back tomorrow at 8 p.m. for that video. And also, if you are not following me on Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter, then you should go, come and follow me there. I'll have linked all my handles in the description box below because if ever I've changed my video upload schedule or I'm gonna randomly upload something, I will normally just pop it on Twitter. So do come along there, say hey, and um, to be honest, I'm using 
uh, Instagram stories and Instagram a whole lot more these days, um, but also trying to build my following on Twitter. So it would be lovely to have you guys over there too. Thank you so much if you are new and if you have come back, really appreciate all of you guys' comments on the past few videos, particularly the last one. I didn't think it would go down as well with you guys as it did. So, so glad that you enjoy that kind of content. Um, I know you guys love the hauls, so I will keep doing those. Um, and I have a new format that I'm going to run by you guys in my final video, so do look out for that. But otherwise, I've kept you guys for long enough, so go enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I will see you in tomorrow's video at 8pm. Bye!